Hello, welcome to another Creature 3D tutorial. This tutorial is the Creature 3D animated elephant walkthrough, which I think you'll find very fascinating. This is an overview of how the animated elephant you see on screen over here was done in Creature 3D. I think you, you agree that this is a kind of a cool animation. And what if I told you that this entire animation was done completely with the procedural motor system? Uh, no keyframes were actually set in this animation. Of course, I want to emphasize you can definitely set keyframes in Creature 3D. Nothing is stopping you from doing it. If you want to manual animate, that's fine. But this is just a demo to illustrate the power of the Creature 3D procedural animation system. So you can see there's lots of dynamics going on, even the tails waggling. There's a lot of secondary motion. There's a walk cycle going on, even the belly. You can see even the skin is doing some really cool dynamic sliding behavior. The trunk is, is, is waddling, is, 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 is tilting about in the years. Everything is moving. Everything is very alive, which is what Creature 3D gives you. So let's dive in and see how this animation was actually accomplished. All right. so I'm going to give a much in-depth tutorial on all the different motors that are required, including the ones like the IK Rotate motor for automated walk cycles. But hopefully this is a good overview, a good taste of what you can do with Creature 3D. So let's take a look first. The first thing we're going to take a look at is obviously the the leg motion, which is what Creature 3D gives you in terms of the automated walk cycle motion. Now if I play it, if I selected the legs, you can see it's actually following this arc over here. And so this is using what we call the IK rotate motor in Creature 3D. It's basically IK, but follows a, an arc that you can actually modify. You can shrink and enlarge the arc as you want. And of course, I can drag this around. See, this is IK. This is your standard IK motion, right? So this is what enables you it will actually follow the leg will actually follow this arc and as you change the different properties like the phases to make them out of sync you can have the left and right leg going in and out of sync with each other which then allows you to have this alternate leg walking motion so very easily you can make a walk cycle by tweaking these parameters to cater for your requirements so all the legs over here are actually done with the ik rotate motor again with uh, let me show you with different phase values. So phase is what actually allows your your IK mo rotate motors to go out, go out of sync, and then that gives you the alternate walk walking motion. So you can see in the leg in the back, the phase is one, and in the leg in front, let's zoom in again. The one in the back phase is one. The one in front, the phase is 3.8 after some tweaking, and so that gives you the alternate motion of the legs. Right, so that is those are the IK rotate motors. So that's kind of cool. Now the front part of the elephant you can see is actually rotating about, and that's the base is done with a rotate cycle motor, which then drives the series of bones below over here, and that those are the bend physics motors. So you have a base driver bone driving the dynamics, the physics of the trunk. Similarly, we have very similar things going on here. For the years, we have a bunch of bent physics and they're all driven again by the dynamics of the head. Now, I also have at the base of the elephant a move bounce motor for the root motion, so it gives a bit more gait, more bounce to the character, so it actually seems like it's moving. And of course, because it's driving on the physics, everything just moves along with it. You can see, for example, here, there's actually a physics motor going actually bouncing the belly of the elephant and gives it a, a very dynamic like skin sliding motion so that's kind of cool and similarly we have things going on for the tail as well right and of course on top of it I actually have another rotate cycle motor moving the dynamics of the skin on top so the whole thing becomes very like almost alive just based off the procedural physics system of creature and this entire animation was actually done in less than 30 minutes, which means the procedural system, animation system of Creature allows you to turn out very realistic, very, very uh, organic type looking type animations in a very short amount of time. And of course, after you're done all of it, you're free to go in and then manually tweak it with FK again, just to give it that final finesse. So I hope you appreciate this. This is, a, I think, a very simple, but also very elegant and powerful tutorial of what you can actually achieve already today with the Creature 3D animation system. And that's basically it. It's a very simple overview. I'll go more into depth into the various motors in the future, but I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and happy animating.